All right, let's see how you can um, prevent deleted files from going into recycle bin and just rather have them deleted permanently um, from your system altogether gone. Um, I'm just going to quickly create a new text file, uh, text document. I'm going to say test document. Now, one way, sniftier way to do this is to actually press shift and delete. So I it says clearly are you sure you want to permanently delete this file this is because I pressed shift and delete if I had only pressed delete it would say are you sure you want to move this file to recycle bin now instead if I had just right clicked on it and pressed delete it would again say the same thing are you sure you want to move this file to recycle bin so notice the default behavior is to move a deleted file to recycle bin from where then you can permanently delete the files by just going to recycle bin and emptying it or deleting the files manually. But what if you want to change this default behavior to actually permanently delete the files. Now this is how you do it. So for that you have to right click on recycle bin and click on properties. Over here it gives you this option um, don't move files to recycle bin remove files immediately when deleted. If I select this particular option and click apply and say OK. So now if I try to delete this particular file, I'm just going to press delete. It says, are you sure you want to permanently delete this file? Or I can actually go ahead and press uh, right click on the file and then say delete. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this file? So now in a way what has happened is that recycle bin has become obsolete on our system. It has become, it has rendered useless. We are not going to use it at all. The default behavior is to just delete the file permanently from our system. We don't need it at all and this will be gone forever. Unless you are using some recovery tools like Recuva or some other smart tools to recover the files and all. It won't be ever recoverable in general ways by general users and this will be gone. So that's how you change the default behavior of uh, delete functionality on your system. I'm going to restore it back because I like my recycle bin and I'm going to keep it that way. So that was it for this particular video guys. How do you permanently remove the files from your system if you delete them rather than having them move to recycle. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Do like this video. Do share this video. If you have any queries, any concerns, please put them in comment section below. Um, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That gives me a huge motivation to go ahead and create more tutorials like this. Once again, thanks a lot for watching this video guys and stay tuned for more.